Let's see, today I'm going to be trying to restore an old egg beater. As you can see, this one, the handle is quite loose. And uh, my mother has one almost identical to this, but she doesn't want me to fix its handle. So I went ahead and bought this one on eBay so I could fix the handle for her. And you can see it's got a little bit of rough metal. I need to clean that up. But uh, I think this will work out just fine. And it's got a nice smooth movement to it. Okay. I think I've got this thing loose enough now. Let's see here. Yep. There we go. Came right out. I have a poplar dowel that I'm going to use to replace this handle. I don't know exactly what kind of wood this was originally, but uh, it seems kind of soft now. Anyway, let's go ahead and cut a piece of this off and get it in the lathe. How we're doing here. Looks like we gotta put a nice rounded end on it. Basically make this a half circle. Well, let's see now. It ended up a pinch longer than the original, but I'm going to say it turned out pretty good. Okay, time for some finish. Let's go ahead and uh, see what polyurethane can do. I just got some spray poly. I don't care if I get it on my little clamp here. I couldn't think of any other way to hold this poor thing while I sprayed it. Okay, now it's time to shine up some of this metal. The Dremel with a wire brush is the way to go. So, let's do a little bit of this. You can see this part's nice and shiny, and this part is still pretty dull. So, that's what I'm aiming for. Okay, after about 20 minutes worth of cleaning, <clears throat> I think it turned out pretty good. Let's see if we can get the light to shine off it a little bit there. I even cleaned up this disc here. Tried to clean up this, but it moves too much. Okay, I have fitted the handle in here, and I've smashed the metal down, but no matter how hard I smash it, the handle still wobbles a little bit. So I think we're going to have to come up with something different. I'm guessing what's happening is the, the metal is springy and the wood just kind of crushes and doesn't spring back. So what I almost need to do is get this wood to spread out after it's inserted. So I'm thinking if I can put a wedge down in the bottom maybe, it'll spread it out and hold it. Here we go. We have a little wedge piece of wood, extra long, so I got some distance to hit it with the hammer. And we have our handle fitted back in place, and yes, it's just slightly wobbly. So I'm hoping that using this to stretch things out will actually do it. Got a piece of leather here to protect the finish from striking the table. So now the fun begins. Can we actually hammer a wedge into this from up here? Okay, so that didn't work. Anyway, no matter how I tried to tighten this, it just 
kept wobbling. It only took a couple minutes of use for this to wobble in, even with the wedge. So I think I'm going to try something new. I am going to take a uh, cylinder. I got one chucked up in the lathe that's made out of steel. Basically, I'm going to put this into a cylinder with some glue, and then I'm going to take that and put it into the egg beater and crush it down. Hopefully I don't make it too thin. And there we have it. Still pretty darn stout, even though this is only about a 32nd of an inch thin. Okay, because the barrel is now a 7 16 inner diameter, and this is a half inch outer diameter, I need to sand this down in order to be able to fit inside this thing. So, what's the best way to do that? I can't really chuck it in the lathe anymore because it's such an odd shape, and I'm not about to make some sort of a form to fit around it, so... I think the only thing I can really do is use a rasp. So I'm just going to sit here and rasp this down to 7 16 slowly rotating it. Okay, I've gone ahead and uh, gotten this down close to 7 16 and I decided to go ahead and uh, taper the inside of my little barrel here. That way I can try and hammer this on. So, that's where we're at now. I'm going to see if I can tap this barrel onto there. Okay, so, and then I had to cut off some wood, and I just continued pounding it on there. And I'll tell you what, it is on there pretty tight. I couldn't pull it back off with my uh, vice grip needle nose. So, I think this is going to do. Now it's time to crush it into the actual egg beater itself. And let's see if this idea works. So far, it seems like nothing is working on this project. <sighs> so let's see if this works. Time to crush this back into the egg beater. Honestly, I'd be surprised if this works. Okay, crush that side down. Crush that side down. Yeah, see, it's just, it's just slipping right out. And I'm putting a fair amount of force on this thing too. Since nothing else seems to work, and this is still just sliding in here, I am just going to put a machine screw through it. So now it's time to drill some holes. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try this. I'm going to tap the rear side and make this just a through hole. That way the screw will actually thread into the back side and pull it tight. If that doesn't work, I'll just add the nut. So the first step we have to drill a hole through this. So, let's get things level. Okay. Now, I have to drill a smaller hole down through the bottom plate so that I can uh, put a tap in there. According to my tapping chart, to tap an 832 screw such as this, you need a number 27 drill bit. So, we're going to drill the bottom side of this with this. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we've got the tap all set up. Now, I just want to remove this handle temporarily. And you can see it's got its hole. And I am going to tap the back side of this, as I figured it slipped right through, so now, here we go, just tapping straight through it, until it can't go any further forward. So let's just test the screw and see what it does. Um, let's see, I need my flathead screwdriver. Okay, that feels like it's grabbing pretty good, and I can see it's pulling the metal tight. So let's put the handle back in and see if we can pull everything nice and tight. Okay, we're going to have to drill out the handle itself a little bit bigger, because it's just binding the screw for some reason. It's throwing it off from reaching the threaded hole. And it should just slip right through there, I would think. Let's go ahead and bore that just a pinch larger. 
The next size drill bit is an 18. There we go. Let's see if that offered enough. Let's see, get the orientation right again. Get the screw again. Oh, that time it slipped right through. Let's see if we can get it to thread. Yep, I think it is threading through. Now let's just see if we can get it tight. And if this does work, we're done. Okay, let's get it nice and super tight. There we go. As I figured, the handle is no longer wobbling. I'll be darned, that actually may have worked. Okay, so we don't need the nut on this side, but I think I'm going to go ahead and leave those threads there, just in case this ever does strip out. Then we can just put a nut on the back side, because I don't believe, no, that nut isn't going to reach that by any means. So I'll tell you what, I think this project is done. Yeah, that handle is nice and tight. I can't get it to wiggle no matter which way I pull on it. Okay, well, that is the end of the egg beater fiasco. So, thank you for watching.